Hi everyone, this is Miss Chrisman, and I know we're on vacation this week, um, but I just wanted to take some time to show you one of my favorite things to do when I have some free time over vacation. Um, it's one of my favorite ways to just be creative and have fun. If you're in Rochester, you definitely already know this because we've worked on this before, um, but today I wanna teach you how to write in fancy writing. If you wanna learn how to write in fancy writing today, you're just going to need a marker and a piece of paper. So go grab that and then come right back. So the first thing that you need to know when you're writing in fancy writing with markers is that there's two different ways that you can use the marker. You can write with the tip of the marker and then it will make a thin line like this. And you can write with the thicker edge of the marker and it will make a thicker line like this. So if I was gonna write Miss Chrisman with the tip of the marker, I would hold it up and down and it would look like this. And if I was writing the thicker edge of the marker, it looks like this. We're gonna use the thick edge and the thin tip when we're writing in fancy writing. So you might wanna practice right now, just making some thin lines with the tip and then some thicker lines with the edge of the marker. Whenever I'm writing in fancy writing, the first thing that I do when I'm practicing is I write the word that I wanna write at the top of the paper so that I can look at the letters. I was thinking that we can write the word vacation together. And then I wanna teach you a whole bunch of ways that you can make this word vacation look really cool. So one simple way to make it look like you're writing in fancy block letters is to use the thicker edge of the marker and write the word again. And then if you take another marker, like a black marker, like I have right here, you can use that black marker to outline the writing that you did like this, and you can make it have a cool shadow. Another kind of fancy writing that you can do is cursive, and that's when all of the letters connect to each other. This is when I'm gonna do a mix of using the tip and the thick edge. Anytime I'm writing down, my marker's going down, I'm gonna use the thick part. And anytime I'm going up, I'm gonna use the thin part. So when I'm writing the word vacation, first I'm gonna go down to make the V and that's thick, but then back up like this, I'm gonna make a fancy little curl for the V. Then I'm gonna make the letter A and I'm gonna make it connect to the V. So when I go down, I'm gonna make it thick. And when I go up, I'm gonna make it thin. Down, up. Same thing with the C. I'm gonna go thin and then down and thin back up. And see how I'm using those little tails to connect all the letters? That's what makes it look really fancy. And then something I like to do when I'm making fancy letters is I make any of the dots into little hearts like that. Um, another way that you can write in fancy letters is writing in all uppercase, but like fancy uppercase letters. So you wanna do this like in your writing workshop writing, but if you wanna make something look really cool, I'm gonna use the thin tip for the whole part, this whole part. And then for this one, if you want to make it look cute, like that. Um, the way that I learned how to write in fancy letters is I just tried a whole bunch of things and I, I figured out what looked cool to me and what kinds of things I liked to do. So what you can do on your vacation now is you can get some markers or crayons or pencils and you can practice your own fancy writing. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Hey, feeling good. Like I should.
understood When in Durga walk around the neighborhood Feeling blessed, never stressed